crept off from the dance floor and started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up to the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying of the... Avery, say hi. Another night, another seven to nine party for Miss Avery and me. You say hi. She's going to be one week old tomorrow. One week old tomorrow. Can you believe that? Hi. She does not like being naked. Unlike her brothers who love being naked. Huh. Hi, Avery. She's not too much the looker yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm just doing some tummy time with Miss Avery here. <laughs> Trying to keep her awake till 9 o'clock. It's about 7.45, so... We still got a while to go, but today Miss Avery had her doctor's appointment, her first appointment with the pediatrician. So we did that today. Hang on, let me get up. Okay, sorry about that. She did not like tummy time. So we are walking around, which is what I usually end up doing is I just do the rounds and walk around the kitchen and the living room and she likes the change of scenery. But like I said, we had our first pediatrician appointment today and she did so good. We went while Gray was at preschool, but we had to take Porter because my mom was busy. She had an appointment, but he actually did really, really good. And of course, Anthony came. He's still on paternity leave. I can't carry Avery in her car seat for a little bit. So he came and drove the car and we went and she did so good. The doctor looked her all over, said she looks awesome. I don't know that if I've mentioned this yet. I don't think I have, but Avery has a little bit of a heart issue. Um, they kind of heard a heart murmur when we were at the hospital, and so then they did an echo on her heart and found that she has like an underdeveloped pulmonary valve or something, and so they said it's nothing serious, but it's definitely something that they want to watch, and hopefully it will just um resolve itself over time so we have a follow-up appointment um with her cardiologist in may um but we asked the pediatrician about it today and he wasn't concerned about it either he said he looked over the echo and said it most likely will just resolve itself on its own like everybody keeps telling us so that was good and then she also got an ultrasound in the hospital I, I can't remember if i've told you guys about this like when babies are born the plates are like kind of further apart because they have to like oh like overlap each other or whatever so that the baby can fit through the birth canal but when she came out her plates were like super far apart and so they were kind of worried about it so they did a head ultrasound but found that everything is totally fine and her head's just kind of funky shaped which if you've been following me for a while you would know that porter kind of had a funky shape too we actually went and did x-rays on his head but it actually turned out that he was fine and his head is fine now so Avery will be probably the exact same way. Sorry I'm pacing around because the baby likes it. So anyway, other than that, she's looking really, really good. Um, he didn't have any concerns. They took her weight and she was born at 7, 4 in the hospital. When we left the hospital, she was 6, 11. And then when they took her weight today, she was 6, 15. So she's lost and then gained. So they were happy to see that she gained weight. Okay, sorry about that. I had to change position again. I'm back on the couch. So anyway, yes, she lost, but now she's gained. Um, but her weight is like the 29th percentile. She's super tiny. But her height, she's 21 and a half inches. And she is 
over 90 over the 99th percentile for height she's so so tall for her age so she's lanky basically and her head is like 29th percentile too she has a tiny little head yeah it was cool to get those stats and we made another appointment to go back for when she's one month old so we'll go back in may and yeah that all went well so other than that it's just been kind of a gloomy day outside it's been pouring rain like all afternoon so we haven't been able to go out the past two days we've gone out on walks as you saw and like taken the boys to the park and it's been so nice to get out in the fresh air and so it was really sad when we weren't able to do that today because of the rain i know the next two days are supposed to be kind of colder so not sure how much we'll get out but then this weekend and then next week it's supposed to be like in the 80s so we just got to get through the next couple days and then should be able to get out more, which I think really helps everyone. Um, we've had lots of visitors for Miss Avery. All my siblings have come now and visited her and we're going to have Gray's birthday party this weekend. I'm crazy, I know. And so everybody will come and see her and we'll have a full house, so it'll be fun. Yeah, then he's upstairs putting the boys to bed. He's kind of been taking over the older boy duties while I'm recovering from delivering Miss Avery and I'm just kind of chilling out with her. So we're just hanging out. We, I've got Wheel of Fortune on and then I'm going to watch Survivor because I like my reality shows and we're just going to hang out. So I'll just kind of keep picking up the camera every now and again um, when something fun happens. So my brother and his girlfriend got Avery this cute little bunny. And it's like its ears crinkle and <clears throat> I don't know, it's it's just really cute. And so I put it so she could look at it and I think she likes it. Do you like your bunny, Avery? I forgot to mention that this is actually Avery's due date. She was due on April 5th and that is today. And honestly, if I wasn't induced, I would probably still be pregnant with her right now. <laughs> Because my body does not give up babies. Hi. Look how long her like arms and her legs are. She's just so lanky. Oh. You talking to your bunny? I wanted to talk about how I'm doing. I'm doing okay recovery wise. Like physically, I'm doing great. My boobs are sore from my milk coming in. And then of course, like your nipples always get a little sore from breastfeeding so much, but it's not too bad. And I'm recovering really well um, everywhere else. So feeling really good that way. Emotionally, this happens every postpartum for me. I do fine until the evenings. And then it's like, as soon as the sun goes down, I get super sad not really for any particular reason it's usually like a lot of different reasons some of them are like she's just so cute makes you want to cry or like things i'm feeling stressed about or just like her, seeing her so little makes me realize how big the kids are and how fast time goes and so anyway Evenings are really hard for me. I've cried like every night to Anthony. He's such a trooper. He talks me through it and gives me hugs. So that's where I'm struggling the most right now. And I know it eventually goes away. It just happens every postpartum for me and I absolutely hate it, but there's really nothing I can do about it. So if you're going through this, you're not alone.